Are you looking for a battery bank that will last you beyond the weekend while camping? Maybe you're looking for a battery bank that will give you more power for your appliances. Well, stick around. I'm going to be telling you if the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is the right fit for your needs. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to show the channel support so that way I can do more videos like this. Recently, EcoFlow sent me the EcoFlow River 2 Pro battery bank to try out. I didn't receive any money for this, so this is just my honest opinion about the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I also have the smaller EcoFlow River 2 to compare and use as a reference with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. And I can tell you that EcoFlow came out with another solid product that will meet the needs of someone who's looking for a mid-range battery bank for an extended 4-5 to five days camping trip. Let's take a look at the reason why the EcoFlow River 2 Pro might be a good fit for you. First of all, let's talk about the general features of the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. It has 768 watts hour capacity. The AC output for the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is 800 watts, but the surge is at 1600 watts thanks to EcoFlow's X-Boost technology. This means that you can run electronic devices that requires more than 800 watts AC output, but not more than 1600 watts. With the expanded output capacity, I can run more demanding appliances such as a hair dryer, microwave, rice cooker, and electric kettle. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro has a DC 12 volt outlet, three USB A ports, one USB C port, and four AC outlets. This is enough for me to keep all my electronic devices charged, including camera battery, laptop, speaker phone, and more. It has the right amount of ports for all your needs. A difference between the EcoFlow River 2 Pro and the smaller EcoFlow River 2 is the USB-C output. It's 100 watts on the EcoFlow River 2 Pro compared to 60 watts on the smaller EcoFlow River 2. The increase in output allows you to charge electronic devices quicker. For example, my MacBook Pro will charge faster due to the higher voltage output. I do, however, wish if there were two USB-C ports instead of just one. Most of my devices are USB-C based and having one USB-C output requires me to take turns when charging my equipment. On the other hand, there are plenty of AC outputs on the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I love the placement of the AC output plugs and how spread out they are. There's enough room for you to plug in big power plugs that takes up more room. This is a huge improvement over the smaller EcoFlow River 2. The smaller EcoFlow River 2 has no space for you to plug in two big power plugs as the AC output sits closely next to each other. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro is definitely bigger than the smaller EcoFlow River 2, but it's totally manageable. Weighing at 17 pounds, it still feels like you're carrying dumbbells at the gym instead of a bench press bar. The weight of the EcoFlow River 2 Pro makes it very portable for how much power it provides. It's still a lot lighter than my 200 watt hour battery bank that weighs at 60 pounds. The features just doesn't stop there. It can charge from 0 to 100 in 70 minutes. I ran a test to see how the EcoFlow River 2 Pro charges. I discharged the EcoFlow River 2 Pro to 0% and I charged it back up to 100%. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro would charge from 0 to 100 in 70 minutes. This is an extra 10 minutes compared to the smaller EcoFlow River 2. However, considering the larger capacity of the EcoFlow River 2 Pro, the extra 10 minutes is not a dramatic increase in charge time. I ran a test to see how the EcoFlow River 2 Pro charges. I discharged the EcoFlow River 2 Pro to 0% and charged it via AC input to see how fast it charges. The expected AC charging input for the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is 940 watts. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro quickly ramped up its charging speed past 800 watts and continued to hover around a little above 860 watts. This continued on at the 30 minutes mark and remained so at the 50 minutes mark. To my surprise, it finished charging in 65 minutes. That's super fast. 
You can also charge via solar or a 12 volt DC outlet. Of course, these two charging methods will result in a slower charge compared to the AC input. Solar charging has a max input of 220 watts and expect it to charge the River 2 Pro in 4.5 to 9 hours. Keep in mind that the XT60 to MC4 cable required to connect from the solar panel to the power station is sold separately. It's a really simple setup. The MC4 cable makes it dummy proof because it has specific fittings for the male and female ends. DC charging is also a great alternative because you can plug it into your car while driving. It will charge the EcoFlow River 2 Pro at a rate of 100 watts. This takes about 9 hours to fully charge the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. It's the perfect setup if you want to charge it on a long drive. Next up, let's talk about the battery that's inside the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Just like all of EcoFlow's other products, EcoFlow uses the best battery in the industry for its power station. In this case, it's lithium iron phosphate, abbreviated as LFP battery. This battery is the same lithium battery that's used in RVs that require heavy usage under various rough environments including temperature and elevation changes. It has a life cycle of over 3,000. This means that you would have to use 100% of your battery every day for 10 years to see any performance decreases. Other brand power stations only have 500 cycles and it will decrease in performance way before the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. You can definitely rest assured that you'll get the most out of this battery technology. Did I also mention that EcoFlow has a 5 year warranty? That's comparable to a 1 year manufacturer warranty from most other companies. EcoFlow definitely backs their product so you can be carefree. Now let's talk about the price. How does the EcoFlow River 2 Pro compare to other battery banks that are similar? Well, the Jackery has 500 watt hour battery station for $500. That's $1 per watt hour. Buetti has a 716 watt hour power station for $569. That's 79 cents per watt hour. EcoFlow is having a spring sales right now, and you can get the EcoFlow River 2 Pro for $599 but you can get it for $5.69 with the discount code in the description. That's 74 cents per watt hour. It's the cheapest price for best quality when compared to other reliable solar battery companies. In addition to that, you can get a free River 2 bag and triple eco credits if you purchase on Amazon. You can use the eco credits for 55% off solar panels. I took the EcoFlow River 2 Pro on a few camping trips recently. Let's see what it can charge compared to the smaller EcoFlow River 2. I put the EcoFlow River 2 Pro to the test by running some of my most important appliances including the coffee grinder, the espresso machine, and the rice cooker. I first tested the EcoFlow River 2 Pro with the rice cooker. I know for sure that the EcoFlow River 2 Pro can run the rice cooker because the smaller EcoFlow River 2 could do it. However, I wanted to see how much power it could consume in one cook cycle. The smaller EcoFlow River 2 makes me a little nervous when I'm cooking more than one rice cycle. It's on the borderline of running out of power along with charging other electronic devices. Let's see how the EcoFlow River 2 Pro performs. Surprisingly, one rice cycle only used 2% of battery power. This is compared to 30% on the smaller EcoFlow River 2. I barely have enough power to charge and run two rice cooking cycles with the smaller EcoFlow. I'm always conscious about how much power I use with the smaller EcoFlow. With the bigger EcoFlow River 2 Pro, I don't have to worry about that at all. It has enough power to last and puts my mind more at ease. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro can definitely run the coffee grinder because the smaller River 2 could do it. It definitely did this when I ran the coffee grinder with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. However, the big question mark for me was the espresso machine. I didn't expect the espresso machine to work with the smaller EcoFlow, but I'm feeling really hopeful with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. The espresso machine requires up to 1500 watts of power when pulling shots. Xboost technology should support the espresso machine to run and pull shots. The espresso machine ran flawlessly, but to my surprise, it was just passing water through the portal filter without any pressure at all. So the espresso extraction was a failure. There's definitely a more technical aspect that needs to be explored with the Xboost technology to explain why it didn't work. Later on, I tried running a couple of other household appliances when I got home. I have an electric kettle that requires 1500 watts of power. It works with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro, but there's a big but. I plugged in my electric kettle and it was able to run and boil water. 
the EcoFlow River 2 output power went up almost 800 volts. It did take longer than usual for water to boil compared to plugging in into an outlet at home. A similar thing happened when I tried microwaving with the microwave that came with the Airstream. The microwave requires 1050 watts of power input. It started with a spike of power for a couple of seconds but settled down to a low power mode. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro kept the power input for the microwave under 800 watts. The microwave works but it might take longer to reheat food. Then I tried running the hair dryer which has a requirement of 1300 watts. I turned on the hair dryer and thought it wasn't working. However, it can run on cool fan mode which only requires about 150 watts of power. The hair dryer keeps on switching on and off when I try to use the heat mode. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro spikes over 800 watts and then resets itself. Is this a part of the Xboost technology? With a little more research, Xboost technology works more like a soft start for your appliances. It delivers up to 800 watts, which is the maximum, to the appliances so it'll work. However, it might not work with its intended functionalities. I saw instances of this in which the espresso machine worked, but I didn't have enough power to produce the right pressure when pulling espresso shots. The hair dryer will work in lower power mode, but not in high power mode. The electric kettle boils water, but it takes almost twice as long to boil. The microwave also works, but it might take longer for you to reheat your food. All in all, the X-Boost technology and the EcoFlow River 2 is a nice feature to have, but it will not deliver enough power to appliances that require a lot of power. You have to test out the specific appliances that you want to use to make sure that it works the way you want it to work. Let me know what you think about the X-Boost technology in the comments. In conclusion, the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is an excellent battery bank to use for a 4-5 to five days camping trip. It can charge and run all lower power electronics equipment with no problem at all. And it can run higher power appliances with limited functionalities. It's still light and compact enough for you to carry around and easily pack for camping. You don't have to worry about power because of its expanded battery capacity. It's the perfect mid-range battery bank that will satisfy all your camping needs. Remember to use the discount code in the description. You can get 5% off of the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. In addition, you can also save when you bundle with solar panels. It's a perfect pairing, so if you don't already have solar panels, now's a good chance to get it. Let me know what you think about the EcoFlow River 2 Pro in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.